when has a surge killed someone? Who was seriously saying, a can this large, I'm going to drink six of these today. It just doesn't make sense. But, I mean, this is about the marketing of the practices of this town. I assume most people are just under the impression that, you know, if you really want something, you'll find a way to get it on your own. But, I mean, it just kind of makes things kind of under the preposition of, like, you know, whether or not you want to be independent or it just takes a little bit more skill-wise. I think that's just the whole damn thing. I mean, luckily I found this. You know, I, I've said before that I've been visiting gas stations quite a bit this summer, but this is where I actually found that. And it wasn't, you know, there were no advertisements, nothing on television saying Surge is back in stores, no advertisements on YouTube, and trust me, I know there. This kind of quietly came back. It's the same thing with Powerade. You don't, you just don't really see that sort of stuff. I don't know what to do. Some of these places just become like, you know, I don't want to say taboo, but they become just meccas. You know, that's the only thing you can say about it. This is the mecca. Like a gas station is the mecca of refreshments. And Walmart used to be the mecca of, like, Walmart used to be the mecca of where to get the trendy new things. It's what had Crystal Pepsi, it's what had the new Mountain Dews, it's what had Baja Blast. It doesn't just have to be drinks, but they're, I mean, Walmart had it. I mean, they had Rubik's Cubes, they had Fidget Spinners. They had, you know, fun and games, these sorts of things, but the saying, I mean, I think the big problem with it is, is I just do not have enough of in, I do not have enough inquisition to understand where some of the, the places of where I want are, which I think is just the thing, you know, you think having a vehicle and going to some of these places is the simple enough task, but you actually have to have navigation skills in order to do it. I mean, where, where would, you know, just for a regular curious person, if an internet locator could not find this drink, how would you find it? Supposing you lived in Wichita, Kansas, you know, I suppose that's the capital of Kansas, but supposing you lived in some third-rate Kansas town, some third-rate Arkansas town, some third-rate Tennessee town, where would you get this? I mean, how would people get to the knowledge without typing in their keyboard and finding it? It bamboozles a person to think that, you know, these things are just not the friendly next door, you know, attitude of how to get it. Kind of stumbling what I mean, but... That's the thing. I guess I'm just trying to boast about the fact that I'm really getting to know gas stations, but I gotta tell you that there just isn't a lot of other places in town worth noting. I mean, some people made this <laughs> like, you know, football stadiums, I don't know, basketball courts, gyms, swimming pools. That's the whole damn thing is I don't know, I'd never considered myself a foodie. That's the whole other thing. I never considered myself like a foodie, but for some reason this is more interesting to me than a bike, you know? This is kind of strange. I mean, this shirt, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, I guess the other point of this video is just trying to say I wonder if I could do that trick, you know, how some people do that with a pencil. I guess not. Let's try that again. Yeah, two out of four ain't bad. I don't know, it is all... Uh, call me crazy, but it just always seems like, you know, the... the the fun meter is only like 40% full. That just seems to be what it is. 
I mean, that, that's half the process. I mean, it's really, the thing about it is, is it could have been, you know, March of 2019 before I sauntered in there and found this drink if I would not have, you know, had just a little bit of curiosity in my head. Who knows how long it would have been. They could have pulled the plug on it and that would have been the thing. I mean, that's, what, that's, you know, situations like that is how exactly that I found Red Bull. Just, you know, I, I didn't have any sort of thought in my head other than, you know, I needed to try something different because I was realizing I was just going to Walmart just for sodas and, you know, chips and pizza and that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, just plain being experimental one day and I found one of the most... I mean, that, and that was just a lazy September day. That was the thing about it. I, I had no knowledge. I didn't walk into the store saying, I'm going to try Red Bull today. This is the thing. And that's, you know, trying to pay attention, just uh, nonchalant, kind of unsuspecting, that's the proper word, unsuspecting day. You can't find those that easily. You know, it's kind of like meeting someone at a grocery store. You just don't expect it. And, you know... That's the problem. They, these days just don't come along often enough. That's the thing. It's like, what the shit, you know? So, yep. So this was a good day for me to be able to find this, but I'm just hoping it's not going to be like October or something before the next, you know, big thing that I find out and about is going to be which is kind of the thing i mean the re the whole thing behind it is i can remember the exact point to some of the times when i found some of these things they're just integrated so but you know cheers to surge cheers to red bull cheers to sonic speed so all of which